Good morning everyone from Milan in Italy. I'm at ACMA, the world's biggest motorcycle show. So let's go inside and see what's new for 2023. Super Meteor 650, which is a brand new cruiser bike by Royal Enfield. It has the same engine as the um, Continental or the Interceptor, but the rest is all new. We have a frame by Harris, we have a new swing arm, we have, we have a complete new frame, we have an upside down fork, LED lights, LED indicators, and then it comes standard with the two displays that has the turn by turn navigation in here and check out this beautiful finish. They couldn't tell me the price yet, but I heard it's definitely under 10,000. So um, yeah, it's it's a very nice looking cruiser. It competes probably with the, with the 500 Rebel or with the Vulcan by Kawasaki. It weighs 241 kilogram, fully fueled. So I think it's a great, also a great entry bike for uh, the cruiser segment uh, that is not too expensive and uh, it comes in all sorts of colors. I really love this finish here with this golden pinstripe. It looks very good. This one is the touring model as you can see with a lot of accessories with nice looking and fitting side cases with a passenger seat with even a little uh, backrest and here you have the one with a single seat in this anthracite dark gray. The new V-Strom 800. What's kind of funny about it is that even though the name is still V-Strom, it has not a V-twin anymore. So now we have a parallel twin with 776 cc, which delivers, I think, 84 horsepower and 78 newton meters even comes standard with a quick shifter up and down. We have a color TFT display um, with three riding modes. Of course, for the off-road use, you can also disengage the ABS. And um, it is the DE version that we have right here. So that means it's called Dual Explorer. So it's the off-roady version of the V-Strom. So we could guess that there will be also a standard version as with the other V-Stroms. And, and this one is made more for also off-road use, so dual purpose. And we have a suspension travel of 220 millimeters in the front and the rear. We have a 21 inch uh, front wheel and um, it's fully adjustable. The suspension is by Shova. And we also have a hand wheel to adjust the preload of the rear. Definitely lower than uh, the V-Strom 800. So here is the brand new TSX-8S, a new naked bike now, brand new, with the same engine as in the V-Strom that I just showed you, which is one horsepower less, so 83 horsepower, also 78 newton meters, and that's 776 cc parallel twin, um, also standard with quick shifter up and down, which is really awesome. And we also have a lot of electronics in there. We have that five color TFT display, um, also with three different riding modes. Uh, it weighs 202 kilograms fully fueled. And I forgot to mention that with the V-Strom, it weighs 230 kilograms, so not that light. Here we only have 202 kilograms and we have a seat height of 810 millimeters. And uh, also, as with the V-Strom, they haven't announced the price yet, but I assume it will be something between the Honda Hornet and the MT-07. Very sexy, the new Panigale V4R that they, of course, made to compete in the World Superbike. But, of course, if you want to, you can also buy it as a normal customer. And we have a new uh, Ducati Desert X in this black. So before it was they only had it in that white. <laughs> I've only already tried it out, so check out that video. And uh, now we have this quite sporty looking black and white and red finish. And check out this Panigale. <laughs> A Ducati Unica it's called, so you can really customize 
your uh, Ducati as you wish, so different letters for the seat and then of course all kinds of different finishes and rims. Which color would you pick? <laughs> it's the new Multistrada B4 Rally for 2023. It has a bigger tank, it has longer suspension tra travel, it has uh, of course additional electronic features. Yeah, and it has uh, a 30 liter tank I think even and um, so it's way more off-roady than the Multistrada B4. The next thing, what I see is new for 2023, is the Monster SP. Check this out. It has uh, Brembo's Dilemma brakes. It has 111 horsepower. And I think you could definitely also use it for a track day. And Ducati will provide the Moto E machines for next year. So check this out. Looks really sharp. 150 horsepower, 225 kilograms. Really sharp. All right, I'm here with Rocco from Ducati Scrambler and we're gonna look at the new Ducati Scrambler models. We just presented the new uh, model year 2023 Scrambler Ducati, fully updated for uh, next year. We start on the Icon, that's our uh, flagship of the, the 800 uh, range, fully revised because we change uh, uh, both aesthetically in terms of uh, technical content. Aesthetically, we, we have the new uh, personalization uh, kit uh, composed by the uh, cover on the fuel tank, the fenders, the tag on the wheels, uh, and the tag on the headlight. Uh, so you can personalize. You have three color standard and C color as kit. You can uh, see on that wall some of the. And uh, two of that are equipped on, uh, on those two bikes, so the orange and the eye-catching uh, blue Rio Celeste, we oh, call Rio Celeste. Looks so, really nice. So cool, yeah. Um, and the bike is not changed only aesthetically, uh, because uh, we have a lot of new things like the new brand seat, a lower handlebar, uh, full LED, uh, light. Uh, what about the engine? Did the engine, the engine is still the same. The, uh, Iconic uh, um, air cool uh, Desmo 2 uh, engine, 800 cc displacement uh, with uh, 73 horsepower. But we little bit uh, change in terms of aesthetic. You can see on the top. So yeah. the, the engine itself uh, uh, looks much more uh, modern and contemporary. We had the ride by wire, mm -hmm. so this gives a much more sporty uh, uh, throttle. Yeah. So the engine. Uh, the torque is the same, the feeling is completely different comparing to the first generation. Uh, aesthetically, the wheels are different mm -hmm. also. We, this bike uh, equipped of Pirelli MT-60 RS, mm -hmm. 18 front and 17 uh, rear. And, and the seat height is? Uh, seat height is uh, 79.5, uh, 795, sorry. Okay. Millimeters and you can have also as accessories a lower and a higher seat. Yeah, very nice, uh, comfortable seating position. Yeah, it feels really good. You have the good dashboard, also. as you can see here. Yeah, yeah. Curved Another. dashboard, mm -hmm. riding mode, to riding mode, oh, nice. road okay. and wet. Road and wet, okay. Traction control and cornering ABS. Wow, even cornering ABS. Yeah. Nice. And, and then you have the night shift? Yeah, then we have the night shift, the, the two more exclusive uh, version that we have in the range, the night shift and the full throttle. The night shift is the, the classic one, with the black spoke wheels, uh, this side cover on the, under the seat, the brown seat, very classic and eye-catching uh, uh, component. Uh, the handlebar is a flat handlebar. Yeah, yeah. And you have all the, the brand new features that we update on the icon, we have also on this one. So okay. TFT dashboard, riding mode, uh, LED indicators. Ah, oh wow, nice. And what about the full throttle? Full throttle is our... Uh, the Total is our street tracker version of the, of the family. Uh, it's the more sporty one uh, in, the, in the range. Uh, 
the bike is equipped with the lower handlebar, uh, LED indicators, uh, red GP19 and black stealth uh, livery, uh, with this uh, head logo on the fuel tank, uh, 62 side panels uh, under the seat, dedicated seat, uh, red tag on the wheels, and uh, of course, this is our sporty version. We have also the Terminoni exhaust uh, as a uh, standard. Uh, All right, I'm at the Yamaha booth now. What they changed for the Tenere 700 is that they now have this, yeah, way more modern display on it. So um, it is color. Um, so it is in color, and uh, I think on the rally you even have that um, rally roadbook uh, function. But the, the big news for Yamaha is with the Tracer 9 because they now have a Tracer 9 GT Plus. They had the Tracer 9 and the Tracer 9 GT before. I did a very comprehensive video on that, so check it out if you haven't seen it and uh, I'm a huge fan of that CP3 uh, three-cylinder engine. What this is, is a radar system. So it has a huge display now, and it has many, many functions. So the radar, it automatically keeps the distance to the vehicle in front of you. If you're on a freeway way or something, you might know this technology from cars. But what is first for motorcycles ever is that it also linked to the braking system. So in case, you brake coming towards something and you brake but not enough that it would interfere and adjust the braking in the rear and the front so that you uh, manage to brake in time and it's also linked to the semi-active suspension that also the uh, 9 GT already has so that it keeps the stability when it brakes. So I think this is a very complicated but very very nice uh, safety feature and um, what it also has that when, let's say, you uh, ride behind a car and you have the cruise control set on 70 kilometers per hour, and then uh, you put in your turn indicators and want to move to the left, it smoothly accelerates out of, um, from behind the car, and then accelerates to the speed again, in case the vehicle in front of you was um, a little bit slower. So yeah, that's a great new technology on the Tracer GT Plus, and it the uh, GT Plus also comes with the side cases as standard as well as the GT and um, and here you also have a GT Plus where you can see a lot of the accessories you can get like a really comfortable looking seat and or a higher windshield with an extra windshield on top so and additional lights so yeah I really hope I get to try out this new system and see how it actually works but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't bring, bring anything on the market that they wouldn't have tested extensively. So I'm at the Honda booth and something probably many of you waited for is the new Honda Trans up here. You even see the one from 87 and now check out the new one. It's the new middle class um, travel enduro by Honda and if you know Trans Alps you might wonder there's no V in the name anymore and that's because now it doesn't have a V twin anymore um, but it has a parallel twin. It is the same parallel twin as in the new Honda Hornet they already announced that at Intermod. It also has 75 newton meters and an insane power of 92 horsepower which is yeah definitely more than the competitors and it has that 755 um, CC parallel twin. The seat height of the Trans Alp is at 850 millimeters, so it's five millimeters uh, lower than the V Strom, so not that big of a deal, but that's quite a common seat height for travel enduros. This one here weighs only 208 kilograms. We have a 43 millimeter Showbar fork in the front with 200 millimeters of suspension travel and 180 millimeter of rear suspension travel with a Pro Link spring strut. 
Also with the tires, um, Honda shows that they're really serious about the off-road topic. So they really wanted to make a good bike for street riding, but also for off-road riding. We have a 21-inch front wheel in the front wheel, yeah, and a 19-inch rear wheel. Also, this bike comes with a lot of electronics, so we also have a color TFT display. We have four different riding modes, of course, also with, a, with an off-road mode, but also the user mode where you can set up everything individually for off-road riding. If you want to, you can also disengage the traction control and the ABS completely. So here we have a 16.9 liter tank, so not as the, with the new V-Strom, it has a 20 liter tank. The TFT display also has connectivity and even voice control. And I really, really, really can't wait to try it out. Another new bike by Honda is the new CL500. You might know the engine from the CMX500 Rebel. So it is that 471cc engine with, I think, 47 horsepower. And I think this one is, uh, has some accessories on it already. And same with the Rebel. It's a very good bike for customizing. Alright, I'm at the Indian booth, so let's check out what is new for 2023. Here's my friend Pamela from Indian Motorcycle Hi. Germany. Uh, what's new for 2023? So we have a new range of the FTR models let's here. Let's go over on here. Display. Oh my god, I fell in love with this one <laughs> right away. Oh, so much carbon and this gold. So this is new for 2023? Right. This what is, is the, the difference to the old um, carbon FTR? So first we have a different color scheme. Yeah, I love the, it. Uh, the last model was more with red colors. Now it's gold. Mm -hmm. We have a different muffler. Yeah, a different seat. The biggest news on the new FTR range is the new TFT display. Is it the same as the one on the Chief? It's not exactly the same. It's a little bit bigger, um, oh, yeah. but it has all the fe features like ride command. Nice. So you can navigate, you can connect your mobile devices uh, via Bluetooth, you have all the right modes um, yeah. in the display, so that's oh. that's really nice. Oh. Yeah. So nice, so nice. So what about these? Because they look quite different uh, to the FTR before. Right, this is the new FTR Sport. Mm -hmm. We wanted to give the new FTR Sport a really sporty look. Um, and express the performance that comes with this uh, V-Twin bike. So we have new covers here for better airflow. We have a new chin fairing and the seat cowl. And this is also standard, yeah. the windshield? This okay. is also standard, that's all uh -huh. standard. Nice. And yeah. the new seat cowl. Nice. So and then this is the other color option or is it a right. different model? Right. Look at the rims. I yeah. really like the rims, right? Red makes everything faster. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing to sit on a bike like this and maybe riding so fast. Eh? Are you gonna do a guest start uh, next year? Oh, some? that would be nice. I hope you can fix it here. Yeah. Can I? Sit on I hope yeah. it's not bad luck, though. It's probably okay. Just be careful. Just you. I'll, I'll be careful. I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the windshield may not be higher than that. <laughs> On which racetrack in America? Uh, Laguna Seca. Oh, yeah. And it's my favorite racing in the whole world, actually. Yeah, corkscrew is. He broke a bike in half in the corkscrew just about last year. Yeah, I think I saw. I, yeah, I think I saw with, that. He actually. came in with a with a wheel that wasn't round anymore. Uh, well, I'm right here next to the real king of the beggars, Tyler O'Hara. You raced uh, on this insane uh, bike. I'm just sitting on it, and I cannot even imagine how it must be riding it, e especially on the racetrack. How was it for you riding something like that for the first time? 
Uh, it's it's something like I've never rode before, and it's a challenge, but. Uh, it's a niche and, and mm -hmm. it's uh, something that I really enjoy. Yeah. Um, and it's fun when you have a great team like Indian Motorcycle behind you and everyone's passionate about winning and and uh, it just makes it really fun and SNS Cycles, but the Indian Challenger is just the ultimate performance bagger. And for me, it's just, uh, it's the right tool that I need to get the job done this year. And <laughs> it's the best bike in the paddock and just uh, really enjoy it. So personally, my favorite FTR model is definitely the FTR Rally. And um, it's the 19-inch front? The 18, 19 uh, wheels. I love the knobby tires. We have oh, a completely... So yeah, cool. exactly. It's so nice. The Rally now comes with a adjustable suspension. Oh, good. This is really new for the Rally model. And it also has the new TFT display with the ride modes which is also a very new highlight for nice. the FTR Rally. So the FTR range comes in four different models and this one is the base model. Okay. Um, so this color is a standard color? It's so also a standard color, right? Oh. This one and the black one on okay. here. Wow. Hey, hello. Hey, my friends from hello. Canary Ride. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm good. You yes, have yeah. Ducati and uh, Honda at your shop in yes, Gran Canaria. Yes, yes, yes. So if people want to rent a bike, yes, we definitely will get a uh, Transalp. Mm -hmm. I already booked uh, some units, mm -hmm. and uh, this actually the Scrambler uh, 500. I think it's going to be good to rent oh, a bike. Yeah. yeah, it's very low. A lot of people asking for low uh, light bike. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so that might be a good idea for you to try out these new bikes when yes, they come to exactly. your shop to look we'll have a, a nice little vacation <laughs> on the beautiful island of Gran, uh, Gran Canaria. And Tenerife, and Tenerife. And Tenerife, yeah, yeah new yeah, shop yeah. coming. That's probably the biggest news for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're working on the new shop in Tenerife because the, a lot of people asking for the for this island. And then from Tenerife, you can go to La Gomera and uh, other, uh, other two islands. And uh, yeah, definitely new Scrambler as well, that's the plan. Yeah, cool. I think uh, you've yeah. been a few times there, so I've you like it. I've been there four times or something, but I will come uh, again soon. <laughs> I have to check out the one in Tenerife for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, see okay. you around. Ciao. <laughs>
Okay, so the award to the cutest booth goes to Vespa. <laughs> the Vespa Justin Bieber edition. <laughs> that is called the Gucci Gucci. <laughs> Look at these. So tell me, what is new? That's the new Aprilia RSV4 Trento. Sorry for the Trenta. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a design thing. But the very new thing is the new RS660 Extrema. Alright guys, it's time for me to head to the airport. Uh, I was here for two days, I was just running around. Please forgive me if I forgot something. Um, I just showed you the things that I saw and uh, I'm very, very excited and very curious how these bikes that I showed you are gonna ride. Uh, I'm really exhausted now, but I'm super happy. I love these kind of shows. You always meet a lot of great people and you see all the new bikes, so it's very interesting. and just a good time so thank you for watching leave a comment which of the bikes did you like best which one would you like to ride and um, yeah see you at the next video take care and ride safe bye bye